Start rolling. Trying. All right. Uh, congrats. Thank How did your week go from Sunday till today? It was busy, but it was it was good. It was fine. It wasn't. You know, the transition was easy, and I felt. I mean, I. This all came up kind of Friday. I raced Saturday, Anaheim two. I was at the Suzuki track Sunday morning, um, and I mean, yeah, quickly I felt good and comfortable, and then, um, you know, rode a decent amount on Sunday, rode again Monday, and then Tuesday did a little bit of testing, just a couple things here and there, um, and then took Wednesday off, rode Thursday, flew up um, yesterday, Friday, so. It was busy, but it was it was good. It was fun, and just you know, um, working with the, the the group of guys. And I mean, I've mentioned before, but I've worked with some of them mm -hmm. before in the past on different teams. But it's been fun. It's been it's been enjoyable, and I'm having a good time. So, was that transition to the bike as bad as everybody, or as different as everybody would think? I mean, they're two totally different things. I mean, yeah, it's completely different, a lot different. But I mean, I don't know. For me, like. Obviously, I've ridden a Cowie for like seven years without honestly really riding anything else. But even since I was a kid and stuff, like I'd hop on a buddy's bike and it's never really bothered me to jump on a different bike. And like, that's never really been a problem for me. So I wasn't stressed about it. I mean, like I said, like 15, 20 minutes, I was fine. Mm -hmm. um, with everything that's kind of been going on, the, between you and Brock, everybody thinks you're about the same, but you're 20 pounds lighter than he is height's a little bit different yeah. was it hard to change the bike setup or when you got on was it pretty easy it was pretty close i changed like bar mounts because he's a little taller than me and i changed the clutch lever changed uh, like the shock spring lighten that up a little bit and then other than that i moto down so the big thing is too like i think a lot of people thought that your success already this year is because it's a no pressure deal is there over is there a lot of pressure over here or is it just pressure you're putting on yourself or you don't people, even think about that people, I've, I mean I remember when I was at factory Cowie and people would try and blow that up like I mean oh there's pressure of a factory team and this and that and yeah, of course there is but you don't think there's pressure as a privateer to try and you know make it happen I mean there's pressure maybe it's different or whatever I mean Real pressure is when you're battling for a championship. That's pressure. Like, you know, these guys, I don't think expect me. I mean, I've talked to them. They're like, we don't expect you to, you know, my best finish this year has been an eighth. We don't expect you to be third now. Like, you know, keep doing what you're doing and, you know, hopefully we can help you get better. Mm -hmm. And that's my goals haven't changed. I'm still trying to do the same thing I did coming into the season. And, um, I mean, there's always pressure, but there's pressure in life. Like, I mean, my results at the beginning of the year weren't anything to do with that I didn't have pressure. I mean, there's, just there's, you there's pressure. Like, there's always pressure. Like, we're racing dirt bikes at a high level. There's always pressure. If yeah. you're on the line, like, there's pressure. Yeah. So. You're just motoring. I'm just hammering down. <laughs> um, one last thing, and I'll let you go, because I know we got to get wrap this up. Uh, you and Donnie Hansen started working together this year. <laughs> How's that been? And you guys continue that now? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been cool. I started, Donnie kind of came to me like a week before Anaheim, probably. And he was just like, hey, I think I can help you with some stuff. Would you let me help you? And I worked with Donnie like when I was a kid. Like, so I've known him, been around him for years. Um, and I'm like, yeah, of course. If you think you can help, no problem. So he's just kind of, uh, yeah, started coming out to the track with me and just helping me with writing stuff and you know just offering his advice and, and helping me out and I mean he's knowledgeable he knows so um, it's helpful 